welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Oakland Athletics and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Tarek Skubal. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And now the first baseman, Ryan Noda. As the lefty gets to work, splits the plate, and we're underway in Detroit. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. The 0 2. And nope. ball That's one. Ball. It's a good take. is inside really good take especially with two strikes swings and misses the high heat too much on that one thought it was a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger next to hit Zach Gillard just off the inside edge, Gelov starting up the middle at second, batting second in today's lineup. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. One out, base is empty. The wind to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off the two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Brent Rooker now at the plate. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Close, but called a ball. And yeah, that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's inside, and it's 2-0. and oh. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The count, 2-1. and one. And that's in for a strike. <laughs> It strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And the A's are gone in order. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Comerica Park. Getting the nod on the mound. Number 38. Well, this guy's got 
sort of a tweener not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve it's in between and he adds and subtracts velocity on it which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful and here's the rookie center fielder Parker Meadows there's a strike Meadows goes six feet five inches 24 years old and he was a second round pick back in 2018. He'll two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And a pitch. And yeah, there's a the ball. pitch misses outside and it's two and two we chase that time at the belt and fires foul off again and it remains three and two Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow, bro, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I could have done it. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. And now the lefty in the air out towards left center brings it in and now the Tigers line up for manager AJ Hinch and the key to victory for them here get their starters some run support early Boog, if they can get him that run support early it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in so Put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Nope. That's inside. Runner on the goal. Oh, Pitch is low. Bro, yeah. and they got him. Wow, what a great throw from his knees right there. You're not going to see that every day. Such a long throw from the plate to second base. So to have no bottom half behind it, but still deliver a seed on target, so impressive. And most catchers practice that throw, but not many have the arm strength to actually make it work in a game. The 2-1. Ball, okay. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. So here's Brown at the plate. Scooble back to work. And that one wrapped foul. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And there's one down.
Now it's J.D. Davis. And there's the strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Ball one there. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually if you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make players earn it. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Green calls it in to a Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Oledmis Diaz stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Hard hit left side. That ends oh. the frame. And one, two, three, go the A's. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here's the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And a pitch. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Langoliers collects, fires to first, in time to get him, one away on the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Mark Canna. That's in there, and it's 0-1. One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. Hard hit right side on to first and he's out well oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution and up next for Detroit Colt Heath oh he doesn't get the call one and oh in there two out spaces empty fouls it off still one and two clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that change up as he fouls that fastball back Swings and misses, struck him out. Tigers fail to make any noise. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Detroit, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. The wind of the pitch. Strike on the inside corner.
to the left side but it is well foul. Oh and two now. Bounced up the middle. A sliding stop. The throw in time. Got him. Here's the center fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. A little out front there as he swings through it. Try to keep good speed off the bases. Top of the third, no score. Headed down the line, and that drops foul. One down, base is empty. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Now one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, he really filled up the strike zone in that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not dancing around the strike zone. They want to attack. And so you kind of get into swing mode, and you have to protect the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. And now, Nick Allen. The nope. shortstop okay. takes a ball. And that one in the air center field. Meadows has this one sized up and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And we're back, except for the bottom of the third. Gio Urshela to the plate. And here it comes. That one not close. And that's ball one. Slap the other way, foul. The one one. Swing and a ball popped up, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. The batter now, Javier Baez. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second and he's out. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. It stays nothing in two. Oh. 
just oh, misses right. with that one. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. The one two. At the ball. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Here comes a pinch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Inside just missed. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. So up next, Jake Rogers. And a good eye there. Two outs. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Three innings complete, no score. Back at Comerica Park, and here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. The lefty fires. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. Right back to him on the mound. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Zach Gellar. Struck out swinging his first time. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, we we'll call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Two strikes. and misses it's a strikeout oh there's a three pitch strikeout he can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now Brent Rooker up next for the A's gotta be careful with this guy he's got power he can untie it with one yep, swing and the first pitch misses for ball one A's looking to put the go-ahead run on base. Top half of inning number four. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Ball two. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late.
Two down, nobody on. That one misses, and it's a full count. Seth Brown waits on deck. Bounce to the right side. Throws to first. Oakland goes quietly. A's go quickly and quietly there, and we are still scoreless. the pitch it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run in there for a strike at the top of the zone the pitch and that one fouled off The one two. That one missed. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. That one just misses, and the count's full. Riley Green up next for the Tigers. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Fall off foul. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Finds his way through base hit. Coming home. He'll score, and the Tigers have the lead. one nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. No outs. Runner at first. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. That clips the corner. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. Green aboard here at first with nobody out. Next One pitch ball. is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And the 2 2. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. That one hit to right. Sizing this one up. Brown makes the play. Now back. 
And the batter now, Kerry Carpenter. He's over one. Just one. missed. Ball one, no strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Man, that was pretty gross right there. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The battle, the left fielder, Mark Canna. And next up for the Tigers, Mark Canna. Grounded out his first time. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And now it's going to be Colt Keith Ruiz under it. Makes the catch. And the inning is over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Seth Brown. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Looking to get the tying run on base. Late that time, and it's strike two. Next offering upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. And a base hit right there. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Now it's J.D. Davis. 0 for 1 so far. This is off the inside. Ball one. And a pinch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Now this is a rocket to left. It bangs off the wall. The relay to second. Safe. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Looks like we've got a substitution at second, and here's the pinch runner, Abraham Toro. Let me Diaz now. Golden opportunity right here. Here's the strike at the knees. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And he'll one. 
That's a little bit low. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Just missed. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Next offering is downstairs. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And we're at the top of the fifth. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. In the air, right field. Green settles under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. The batter, the catcher, Shay And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. You have to stay disciplined in these at-bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. There's the strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Swings and misses. And it's not again two. And he deals. And now one and two. That one just misses. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Got him looking. And they're down to their last out. Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back, all you're looking for on offense is a simple ground ball. you got a tie ball game. Not sure what he was thinking up there. Strikeout looking is the last thing you want to see. Now you got to hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a good two-out hit. The Athletics down to their last out. Este Yuri Ruiz, the next to hit. Ball one. First pitch, just misses. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. Two on, two outs. Ball two. Pitches in for a strike. Two and one now. Late on that fastball. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. The Athletics down to their final strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Base hit. One run is in. Here comes the throw, but it's offline. He will score. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Two outs. Runner on first. Nick Allen up next for the A's. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now, now with batting. two away. No first Ryan Noda. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the first baseman, Ryan Noda. Yeah. That's in there. Strike one. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. That's a ball.
stays alive. And that's in the dirt. Next offering is down low. Three and two now. Zach Gellar getting on deck circle. At the belt and fires. And that'll load the bases. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Zach Gellar getting ready to hit. That one finds the zone. 4-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Next offering is down low. Action in the pen down there. Shelby Miller getting loose out there. Chafin also getting ready. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the A's two, and the Tigers one. So coming into the game now on defense, Abraham Toro. He's the new third baseman. Gio Urshela up now for the Tigers. The pitch. That one a little bit high, and that is ball one. And downstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a pitch. That one misses. And it's 3-0. Javier Baez waiting to hit for Detroit. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That's in there. And now three and one. Bounce to third. Toro. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition. And I'm trying to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. And that one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. A one-run lead, and the home team trying to pull it out. Little dribbler up along third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. So, last chance for the Tigers. Now at the plate, Jake Rogers. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. That catches the zone for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And 
That one fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The Tigers trailing by a run. Last half of inning number five. This could end it. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And that'll do it. The A's hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1, Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long.